This is Chatting with Chads. I interview people in the music, sports, and cultural world. Chatting with Chads. Hello, friends. I've got Ernie Shepard here, Scotty Jordan. Hello. They are with the Journey Tree Band Trial by Fire, and I am just a huge fan of this band. When people ask me about this band, my answer is simple. They are the greatest tribute to the greatest band. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. We are in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is their home state. You guys tour all over the state, but you guys also tour all over the nation. Detroit, Washington, D.C., Charleston, even Texas, where you opened for the Charlie Daniels Band. Ernie, talk to us about oh, that, place. Oh, man. Opening for Charlie Daniels Band. Uh, a 17-hour ride to Texas to, for the state fair and 17 hours back home. As soon as the show was over, it was, it, was, it, was, it was a hard, hard thing, and I didn't want to do it until I found out that Charlie Daniels himself heard our, our, our recordings and saw our video and chose us to be the band to open for him, and I could not say no to that honor. So it was an amazing time, and Charlie Daniels is just the most gracious and sweet man you've ever met. Excellent, just like you. Ah, I love uh, <laughs> One day I hope to be as, as great as Charlie Daniels. So you guys have done a lot of touring. I'm sure you guys have picked up some, some tips and tricks. Uh, tell us some of the tricks you guys have picked up on touring with Trotta Fire. Well, one I, I picked up from uh, our keyboard player, Don McCray, is uh, five-hour energy shots uh, <laughs> are a must when you're on the road with Trial by Fire. But uh, it's just pace yourself, you know, stay hydrated in any kind of way you can, if you know what I mean, and uh, eat good. And, Five-hour energy shots. All right, all right. A little appetizer for five-hour energy. Yes. Ernie, how about you? Uh, well, I think as a band, it really is helpful that we don't always travel together. A lot of uh, bands get on each other's nerves in the band. And um, I've noticed that this band, we get there when we get there on our own. And then when we get when we get to the venue, we're so happy to see each other because we haven't been stuck in a band for 10 hours together. And uh, I think that really is key. If I could talk to bands, you don't always have to be together miss each other. That way, every time you do a show, it's like a reunion and you're seeing your friends. Excellent. And you guys, you guys have really good chemistry. That probably explains that. But when, when I see you guys up there, you just look really happy. Like, you really want to be up there. What, what's the best part about doing what you do? Well, uh, for me, personally, not only am I lucky enough to be in a band with four of the greatest musicians I've ever played with, but four of the greatest guys I've ever known. I mean, it's a true brotherhood between us and I think if people, if they wanted to know anything about us aside from the band, is, is the smiles you see on the stage between us are very genuine. And we really love playing together, but aside from the shows, we just like hanging out together. These are some of the funniest guys to be around, some of the nicest guys to be around. And that's what keeps our energy up for the shows, and hopefully we bring the smiles to the fans in this process while we're doing that. Well, I, I see a lot of smiles out there. Any you want to comment about that? You know, I, I just want to reinforce what Scotty said. The truth is, is the, the shows and, and making money doing this is sort of like a bonus. It really is. We get together and we're just hanging out, cracking each other up, laughing, talking about each other's lives, and oh, it's showtime. And then, oh, hey, <laughs> icing on the cake, we get to rock out on stage. So those smiles you see on the, on the stage started uh, backstage, you know, when we're hanging out. Excellent. Excellent. Now, you guys are, you seem to be a fan first band. I've heard you guys say in multiple shows, no fans, no show. Talk about your relationship with fans. I'll tell you right now, Trial by Fire has some of the best fans on the planet Earth. You yourself have been to 22 of our yes, shows. Yes. This is the 22nd. 22nd, yes. And we got fans like Chaz here who will travel to see us. We need a million more Chaz. Absolutely. And, it, and it's always nice to go to a, a town we've never been to before, but see some familiar faces out there oh, yeah. for fans that travel. So the fans are very important to us. We know that they take the music very serious and they love this music, and we try to give it as much respect much talent as we can throw at it to make sure everybody leaves with a smile on their face. That's our goal. Uh, to add to that, I would just say, you know, as a band, we try to keep in mind that, that these guys, these fans, they've been out at their jobs all week, they've been dealing with life, and they chose to spend their free time with us, sometimes paying money to be there. Uh, if that doesn't mean that they deserve every single thing we can give them, then I don't know what that is. So, fans first, because without the fans, there isn't a we're just, we're just standing on a stage, kicking around. And as a fan, I thank you guys for what you've done. 
One more question. They say that the road is no place to start a family. <laughs> but both you guys, heard that, heard that. both you guys are really good family men. You are very family oriented. Yes. But at the same time, you guys are rock stars. Talk about how you guys maintain that balance. Ernie, we'll start with you. You know, I think that it really comes with having a humble heart. Too many people get on a stage and think that's the, uh, the entirety of who they are. They're a rock star. And they think they need to be treated that way all the time. And the truth is, is we're just regular people up on stage being grateful. You take that home. You, when you get home, you're there for your family. It isn't about being in the spotlight. It's about care for those that love you and that you love and making sure you can be there for them and what they need. Uh, it's two different lives, but it makes a whole person. Uh, my wife and kids, uh, Tammy, Tyler, and Amber, they, they keep me grounded and keep my foot in the real world. So um, I have to give it to them that they're, they're the anchors to my life and uh, the joy of my life. And when I'm not trial by firing it, I spend my time with them as much as possible. In fact, if I have to give my wife Tammy some credit. Uh, when I first joined this band, I had the monumental task of learning quite many tunes. and. I would come home in the evenings kind of tired. And she was one that says, you need to get out there and learn those songs right now so you can get this band rolling. So i got to give her the credit for that. But, um, but playing on stage, is, is, that's what it's about for us, making those smiles happen out there. And uh, we just enjoy it. We love doing it. Uh, for me personally, again, to do it with these four guys, Don McCray, Rich Barefoot, and Dan Ross, uh, is, and Ernie Shepard is just... It's just amazing. I have to pinch myself every once in a while to make sure I'm still in this band. <laughs> Ernie, any closing words for me, buddy? Uh, just grateful we get to do this. Every show is like, for me, the first and last show. I, you just never know how long you get to do this, so appreciate every second. Um, it's like living a dream. I was 10 years old, wanting to be in Journey, and here I am so many years later, and I feel like I'm in something better than Journey. So. That's all I got to say. I will say, I'll say as a fan, 22 shows, you guys are better than Journey. Well, <laughs> you can see, you can see Journey music without paying $100. Well, we are, and, we, we and, are the discount Journey. Yes. <laughs> so, and, and you guys are very fan friendly as we talked about. I really appreciate you guys do an amazing show. You guys put on one awesome trip to Journey. Ernie, oh, Chaz, thank, you. thank you so much. Chaz, Scotty, it's an honor, thank you so man. much. Thank you. It is an honor to interview you guys. All right, this has been Chat with Chad, where I interview people in the music, sports, and culture world. Hope you enjoyed this interview with Trial by Fire. Coming up next, we have Jody Edwards of the rock band Tantrum. And after Jody, we'll have Paul Shaheen of News Channel 3, Chattanooga. All right, this has been Chat with Chad. Remind you, you ain't chatting until you're chatting with Chad. We'll see you next time, friends.